Good Tuesday morning, everybody, live and direct from House Onik in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Things are quiet again for this morning. We do have the potential of some more problems with thunderstorms coming our direction as we get into the course of the end of the week. And some of those look like they could possibly be on the strong to severe side. We'll take a look at the forecast coming up here in just a little bit from the Storm Prediction Center and let you know a little bit more about what's going on there. Rest of the morning, it's decently chilly out there, but it is dry, so good news about that. And we are seeing less of a problem with anything involving uh, rainfall at this point in time, but we do see, again, that potential for more chances of showers coming our way as we get into the rest of the forecast. Got any questions about the forecast, please drop them into the comments section. We are live on Periscope and Twitter this morning and keeping an eye on what's going on around the rest of the Mid-South so far. Again, fairly quiet conditions out there uh, for the time being, but we may be seeing the potential for uh, more problems coming our direction, of course, a little bit later on. We'll have more details on the complete forecast coming up here in just a little while. Let me take just a quick second here to make certain that all of our guests are coming through on Facebook for right now. So for the current time, so far looking pretty good across much of the area and not seeing too much of anything else going on out there. Questions about the forecast, if you can't stick around for the whole thing and this is all too much blather for you, all you have to do is just join me uh, again right here for more information. Blue Bar has the forecast details, social media information, again above the website right there above my head, also on that page, also on that bar down there. So there's no way you can't find the information that you're looking for if you want to contact contact me about any of this going on. Let's take a look around the area for this morning and show you that we've got some beautiful blue skies out across much of the Mid-South so far. Nothing really major, again, in the way of clouds yet, but if you take a look uh, in and around the area above the treetops at Windyke Country Club, you are going to be seeing some more cloud cover moving its way into the area. This view from in and around southeast Memphis. Just outside Memphis in Germantown, you can see bright sunshine around the water towers north of Germantown High School and the towers of East Memphis. A little bit hazy out there on the horizon, but more clouds starting to make their way through into the rest of the day today. Kind of off and on cloud cover from time to time, but that's going to be about all that we see out there. Radar, not much of anything to show you at this point. Again, fairly quiet conditions out across the entire Mid-South. Starting to see, uh, looks like maybe a couple of flocks of birds heading on down from areas of the Boot Hill, dropping into around northeastern Arkansas. Don't have any indication of any rainfall starting up for this morning, but we'll be keeping our eyes on that into the rest of the morning for today. Let's go ahead and get started and show you what else is going on out there. Uh, for right now, again, not much in the way of earthquakes, so definitely good news uh, to show you on that. We did have one earthquake last night at just about 10 o'clock, a little bit after 10 o'clock, just north of Dyersburg on the New Madrid Fault. It was a 1.4 magnitude, and it happened uh, just about maybe six and a half miles down and just to the north of Dyersburg. Beyond all that, we don't have much of anything else to report in the last 24 hours. More earthquakes, and there's plenty of them out there. Sorry for the sunlight reflecting off that. All you have to do is go to the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis. And you can get tons of information about what's going on out there. Traffic as of about 8 o'clock this morning. All the usual hot spots out across the Mid-South. Again, right between Sycamore View and Appling Road. We've got traffic down to about maybe 20 miles per hour uh, in that location. Also back to around Poplar Avenue. Uh, back to around Cooper and into Midtown. Traffic down to about 10 miles per hour. And just south of there into and around the area of 7822 around around Holmes Road, southern parts of the viewing area around southern Shelby County. That's where the worst traffic is going on so far. Also a bit of a slowdown southbound on Germantown Parkway around Walnut Bend. Got traffic down to about uh, 15 miles per hour or so for this morning. So picking up at least a little bit of some uh, slowdowns out there. No major problems being seen with tr air travel at this time from Flight Aware showing uh, the current conditions out there looking pretty good for everybody into and around the Mid-South area, especially around Memphis International Airport. So we're just not seeing anything in the way of backups or major problems or delays out there for right now. But Memphis International seeing about 18 flight delays at this time, but everything moving along uh, pretty nicely at this point. So good news on that. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in for this morning. 
uh, Julia Cavallo, thank you very much for tuning in from Walls, Mississippi. Nancy Bell from Dyersburg. Uh, also, Phyllis Baker Lewis from Foley, Alabama, I want to say that is. Okay, thank you very much for tuning in for this morning. Got a large storm system over the area close to the Gulf of Alaska, and that is going to be, again, giving us the potential of some uh, showers and thunderstorms out into the Cascades and the West Coast states, and that's going to be eventually swinging down our direction to give us the potential of some more problems, but just not seeing too much of that for this morning here in the Mid-South. More of our weather bug cameras available at wreg.com slash webcams for more. Currently on the campus of the University of Mississippi from the Grove, a lot of nice little bits of sunshine coming on through the area there as students make their way off to class and also seeing again some fairly quiet conditions into the area around the rest of northern Mississippi so far. And if you'd like to see more about these webcams, they're available at livecam.olemiss.edu. Plenty of sunshine out there for this morning. And also again looking at some fairly quiet conditions all around the northern parts of the uh, viewing area around northern Mississippi as well. Into the Mid-South, again, we don't have a great deal of anything happening uh, where it comes to frozen precipitation or anything else of that nature, but we do see, again, some temperatures out there rather on the chilly side, and as of right now, I thought I had this all plugged in. Hang on, just two shakes here, and we'll get all this done. Back into the Mid-South, we've got numbers back into the lower to mid-40s for the most part. Numbers, again, a little bit on the chilly side out there for this morning, but not below freezing, so we do not see anything in the way of uh, major amounts of issues with frost on the windshields just yet, but if you do have any plans to travel, definitely want to get that taken care of if before you head out the door, as temperatures will be, again, a little bit on the brisk side out there for this morning. Temperatures right now, again, could be a lot worse at this time of the year. We're back into the lower to mid-40s, upper 30s, back toward the Mississippi River, back toward O'Bion and Henry counties into around northern parts of the viewing area back up around the Kentucky state line and Lafayette County Oxford showing up with 39 degrees in and around the university at the airport area there so fairly chilly for this morning strong thunderstorms could be a problem into and around the area coming up on Friday so that's something again we're going to be watching as we head into this uh, end of the week toward the weekend or so and that'll be the worst of what we can see Again, hopefully for the course of the next several days and weeks, we can get some pretty nasty thunderstorms out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Looking again at the uh, potential that storm system out around portions of the West Coast states starting to head our direction. And that is where we could see again some more problems. One storm system lined up after another heading our way. The first one, again, apologies for the connection problems on Facebook. I have no idea why this is happening because we're sitting basically right on top of the router. So we should be getting a great signal here. Anyway, looking into the next couple of days, one storm system rolls through the Mid-South, starts another one, sort of the whip-like chain in the front making its way into around Texas and Oklahoma. This starts to make its way a little closer to us. That'll be our second storm system that gears up into and around Friday. So we've got one coming through first. That'll be making its way through the area just north and east of us. Uh, some snow showers possible around the Great Lakes up into New England as well. For us, we see the potential of thunderstorms coming on through and could be, again, some severe weather taking place with this next storm system. The one after that, the one across the West Coast states, as that gets geared up a little bit more uh, energized there, crossing the Rockies, that one could spell some problems for us as we get into and around the travel holiday right before we hit Thanksgiving. So that could be something to be taking care uh, to take care and to watch very carefully uh, as the system unfolds back toward the north and west of us. So we will be watching that again with a lot of interest throughout the course of the rest of the day today. Let's go into the forecast for the rest of the day again for the mid south area. Numbers, again, will be decently chilly out there for today with numbers heading back into around the lower to mid-50s across much of the Mid-South. So we're looking at some pretty chilly numbers out there for the rest of the day today. And also those winds will be coming in from out of the northeast, switching on down to the southwest. Well, where are you? Hey, come on over here. There you go. Come here. Come here. Well, I can't get you breakfast right now, okay? We have other things to do. Well, come, come here. 
All right, fine. Sorry, arguing with the Shorky is kind of hard to do two things at once at this point in time. Numbers again throughout the rest of the day back in the mid-50s. Tonight's low is going to be dropping back into the lower 40s, close to Jackson, Tupelo, and the Tennessee River Valley. And then getting back into the area around Wednesday, high temperatures back in the upper 50s to right about the lower 60s or so. We'll just go ahead. You can do it. You've done it before. You can get through that door pretty easily. Not going to listen to me again. Okay, fine. Okay, weather report and talking with a shorty brought to you by News Channel 3 for this morning. Let's go ahead and wrap things up because I think somebody wants her breakfast for right now a little early. Rest of the day today, not seeing too much of a problem, but into the next couple of days as we get into around uh, Friday or so, could be the possibility of some more problems uh, heading into the Mid-South. And the Storm Prediction Center doesn't have, again, anything listed for right now, but we could be looking at some stronger thunderstorms into around Friday night and or around Saturday. So that could be something that we could be uh, watching for right now that we're going to be keeping a very close eye on. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. Winter safety is an important thing, even though we don't get quite a lot of the winter weather too much around here anymore. Uh, um, we can get some pretty good storms around here. And Tennessee Winter Weather Awareness Day is coming up tomorrow. And if you'd like to know more about that, all you have to do is go to the National Weather Service, that's weather.gov slash MEG, and more information from the National Weather Service about winter safety, the difference between winter warnings, watches, winter storms, what to do during and before a winter storm, how to get ready for things like winter storms in various parts of the country where you may be traveling to, something to take a look at. It may be coming in very necessary to make certain that you have everything ready to go just to be on the safe side. So more information about Winter Weather Awareness Day, that's tomorrow for Tennessee. And we'll bring you updates on the rest of that coming up later on. Don't forget about my Facebook page, facebook.com slash WREG, And more information again throughout the rest of the day. Also on my Twitter page as well. If you'd like to see more information about some of the cameras and the articles that we pass along. Uh, great information there. But remember, it's a family page, so be nice or get out. So definitely want to make certain you're paying attention there. Also, again, cameras across the Mid-South on my Periscope page, which hopefully you're watching right now, as are 11 different people. Cool. Have haven't had this many people on Periscope in quite some time, so thanks to everybody for tuning in on that. And of course, we'll keep you updated on what's going on on Facebook and all the other social media places we can manage. Seven-day forecast available at WREG.com slash weather. And my complete forecast just geared up about an hour or so ago with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live. So if you'd like to know more about what's going on in the Mid-South where it comes to sports chat, great place to listen. If you can't listen on air on AM 730, listen online at talkbacklivenetwork.org and be glad to have you along for the ride on that. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik live and direct from House Onik and more information throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3 on air and online.